Hi, this is Russ Curran. I am a health and wellness expert and coach. I'm an author and I am the founder and owner of epigeneticsandnutrition.com and the reason for this post is to really talk to you about the definition of epigenetics. It's a word that's gaining more and more popularity worldwide and I thought I would take the time to, to make a video so you can get to know me a little bit better and I can expand on that subject because it is it's the science of the 21st century. It's the biggest scientific discovery in the last 100 years. And epigenetics is really changing the world's view on, on health. Now, how did this come about? Well, it started within the last 10 years, back in 2003, when top scientists from all around the world got together in what was called the Human Genome Project. And the whole idea of the Human Genome Project was to, to see if, um, scientists could discover whether or not DNA could be influenced or changed as a result of this gathering. Uh, the bad news coming out of the meeting was that no, the DNA we are born with is the DNA we were stuck with for all of our lives. That they could not change, okay? But here's the life-changing news and the good news that came out of this human genome project is that there is a layer above our, geno or our DNA or the scientific term is called genome okay and it's called the epigenetic layer or your epigenome so what does epi mean epi just simply means higher or above okay so epigenome is the layer above your genome or your dna and what they learned was that there are specific things you can do to control and influence your epigenetic layer now why is that important and why is that life-changing because you can actually control and influence the way your genes are expressed. So let me try and explain it in terms that you'd understand. Think of, um, think of your genome or your DNA as hardware in a computer. So you really can't change the hardware of the computer. But you can certainly change the programs or the software that you load into the computer and, and to, to play out what, what actually happens on your computer and what programs you use, right? So, so if you think about that, what we what we can do is determine how our genes play out and whether our so so we can keep our good genes turned on in our body and keep our bad genes from turning on or bad genes from expressing so how do we do that well here's where it comes down to the four four main areas where you can do this nutrition so the nutrition you put in your body high quality excellent nutrition is going to help you maintain a healthy genome and keep the good genes turned on Okay, exercise. If you do the right amount of exercise, three to four to five times a week, interval training, interval weight training, um, interval bike training, interval running, sprinting, as opposed to long, boring cardio, that's going to improve the health of your genome, okay, and keep the good genes turned on, the bad genes from turning on. Okay, environment, the environment we live in, the air we breathe in our house, um, whether we use organic sheets or not. Um, whether we use filtered water or not, all the things we can control to limit the amount of chemicals we're inhaling or putting into our bodies. And then spiritual and social. I mean, how happy are you? Are you around like-minded people? Do you like your job? Those type of things. Do you laugh a lot? Those things really help determine the health of our genome in our body. So when you make wiser choices with nutrition that you put in your body and consuming epigenetic food, and by the way, my website has great sources for epigenetic food and resources. Uh, go ahead and check it out. Um, you make a commitment to exercise and get your body moving. You live in as clean and as a, in, a, in an environment as you can, uh, being in your household, right? And there's a lot of things you can do with that. My website helps you with that and provides resources. And then spiritual and social. And there's a lot we can do there. I mean, thoughts become things. Uh, things you think about, you bring about, right? and my website goes into detail on that. These four main areas can control and influence the way genes are expressed. So let me break it down for you again. If your mom or your dad, so your mom had heart disease, your dad had prostate cancer, the chances are pretty good that somewhere in your genetic code, you have that gene for that cancer, right? But if you make wise choices in how you live your life in those four areas I talked about, the chances are that is that gene, that genetic code, never gets unlocked or turned on, and you go on to live your life healthy, living in a very optimal way, without disease. And that's so, so epigenetics is 
the greatest discovery in science in the last 100 years. It's all to do with anti-aging. It's the greatest genetic science discovery we've ever seen. And my website is a great resource to help you with that. So please visit, and I'll, I'll leave a link below this video, epigeneticsandnutrition.com to help you with that. And please, by all means, leave any comments, get a hold of me on email, or dial my phone number. I would love to help you live a healthy life. Cheers to your health.